Hey guys, uh, got a little warm, took my hat off for a minute. Um, you know, uh, you lose a lot of heat through your head, so I kind of took it off just to kind of regulate my body temperature a little bit. I didn't want to sweat or anything. Uh, it's starting to get dark now, and um, we're going to you know, kind of make it for the night. Got a full moon out tonight, so it just means it's going to get really cold. Um, time right now is about 10 o'clock at night. We'll actually try to get some sleep, um, see how comfortable I can sleep. I know it's going to be cold. Uh, the wind's picked up a little bit. Um, you know, I'd rather be in here than out there right now, I'll tell you that. And my bed's actually pretty comfortable. Um, I'm not feeling like any really cold off the ground. You know, just sucking my heat out. So, uh, the bed's actually working out pretty good. So we'll see how it does, you know, through the night. Um, so, I'll get back with you in a little bit. If I wake up, so I'm in the middle of the night, I'll, uh, I'll pop the camera back on. Well, the wind's picked up a little bit more. Um, it's cold. Um, right now, the Tom, it's uh, 15 till 12, 15 till midnight. Uh, I think I got maybe 30 minutes of good sleep. Uh, then I've just kind of laid here the rest of the time. I did end up in the fetal position already, and I know the coldest parts, you know, I got about six hours ahead of me. And, uh, it's, um, you know, a lot warmer in here than it is out there so far. So, um, we'll see what it's like in the morning when I get out of here. I had to get up and move around a little bit. Uh, just getting a little cramped up in there. Um, I actually wanted to come out and see what it was like outside. So, there's the full moon. Here's my little shelter. It's still holding up pretty good. Um, everything's pretty much frozen over. The ground is pretty crappy out here. You can hear it, how crunchy it is. So, you can see it's got a nice heavy crust on the outside of it. But, So far, so good. Um, like I say, I'm a little... <clears throat> my back got a little sore. Uh, being in that fetal position for the last couple hours. Um, not really cold. I mean, I'm comfortable. Um, I would say the temperature's probably 10 degrees or so. Uh, warmer inside this shelter than it is out here. And uh, the wind is blowing a little bit. It's making it a little bit uncomfortable out here. Um, so I think I'm going to dig myself back in this trench and uh, I'll try to get some more sleep. Um, about five hours to daylight. Hey guys. Well, it's morning. Um, slip okay. Nothing great. Um, you can kind of see where my head and body was in here. Um, kind of uh, melted and put a little ice turned it almost into slick ice just kind of around where my head was can I see that's slick as a ribbon right there I guess that's just where it melted down from my body heat All in all, it wasn't bad. Um, I'm stiff as a board. Uh, I think if I did this again, I'd make this a little wider. Probably about another, um, I don't know, maybe about six, eight inches long. Um, I did get a little bit wet on the back of my pants. Just like on the back of my legs. Uh, don't know where that came from. I must have just drug in some snow or something. And, uh, got the back of my pants wet. But 
ended up taking some sticks and kind of putting some supports in last night not just for to hold the tarp up that was to hold my lights and cameras and all that junk uh, keep them out of the snow so mm, nature's calling so again so I guess we better get up and uh, see what's going on here Well, my bedding really flattened out last night. Um, it's still probably about six inches thick, but going from as thick as I had it down to that, it's still flattened out pretty good. But yeah, up there toward the top, you can actually see where my head was. Uh, I mean, I wasn't laying against the ice or anything, but uh, you know, my head was probably six inches from that up here. And uh, you can actually see kind of a little round spot there where my head was. Uh, you can actually see too, I was in a fetal position for most of the night. So you can actually kind of see how the shelter kind of shaped itself to me. Well, let's get the tarp off this thing and um, do a little reflection on last night. Well, for the most part, I think it's pretty successful. Um, a little stiff this morning um, you know that usually comes with sleeping on the ground anyway and um, I slept pretty decent it was cold um, I think it got the coldest probably around you know five this morning and uh, overall probably about four or five hours of sleep total that was it um, if I'd had a wool blanket or something with me uh, would have been a lot nicer you know been able to withstand things a little bit better um, you know like I say my reflection would be you know, build the shelter a little wider uh, to accommodate you you know getting in a fetal position um, you know the insulation bed was okay um, I never really got cold from my bottom side you know on the side I was laying on um, a grass pillow would have been nice, you know, something to lay my head against uh, instead of trying to, you know, put my arms up underneath my head to hold my head up. Uh, I tried laying on my stomach a couple of times, uh, and that just didn't, wasn't all that comfortable. And then, um, I don't know, versus a fire, you know, shelter versus a fire, you know, if you can't get a fire going, that may be your only option to build a little shelter. So, um, you need to keep that in mind. You know, um, I probably would try my best to do a small lean-to first and a fire. Or, you know, a uh, lean-to and modify it a little bit. Put some snow up around the back and the sides and a fire out front for a reflector. But, uh, yeah, pretty good experiment. Like I say, I'm, I'm tired. Uh, but it was fun. And uh, what a person doesn't do for YouTube, huh? <laughs> so, guys, this is Dare with East Woodland Survival. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting, I appreciate you guys, and I hope to see you in the woods.